My name is Asai, I'm a junior, and you're watching Everyday Titan. Happy National Women's History Month. Today is Thursday, March 1st, the first day of Women's History Month. On March 12th, 1987, the celebration became official when legislation was passed to designate March as Women's History Month in the United States. The National Women's History Project has announced its theme for National Women's History Month 2018. Nevertheless, they persisted, honoring women who fight all forms of discrimination against women. In the 2018 theme recognizes the intersecting forms of discrimination women have faced and continue to face throughout American history and celebrates the diverse women who have fought and continue to fight discrimination at all levels and at all forms. Thanks to suffragecentennials.com for that passage. Tomorrow we, we will have our first trivia question, so stay tuned. Let's get today's show started with a key ex kooky quip. Today's word is divisive, an adjective meaning a tending to cause disagreement or hostility between two people. We want to take a moment to greatly praise the Parkland students who are so brave. In the midst of terrible trauma and loss, leaders have risen, but at a great cost. Gun regulation, a divisive topic, demands action from all of us. Let's take a stand. Contact your representative, email or call. This is your civic duty to protect one and all. Thanks to the wonderful Miss Kiak for that powerful poem. Sadly, it's time for the last elective promo. This one is for TC's Introduction to Health and Medical Sciences, taught by Ms. Susan Safel. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Susan Safel. I teach Intro to Health and Medical Science. And it's really exciting. Next year, we're going to be opening it up to ninth graders. And so if you're interested in the medical field, this is a prerequisite for any of the courses that we offer. Look into health and medical science. Thanks to Advance TV and Media Production 3 student Kevin Maldonado for that package. The TC Orchestra will be selling baked goods today after school by the auditorium. Be sure to stop by. The Alexandria Summer Youth Pro Public Program is offering a six-week paid summer work experience for eligible youths aged 14 to 21 based off of diagnosed disabilities or family income. Eligible youths are placed within government or nonprofit agencies in the city of Alexandria. Applications are open March 5th, so see Mr. Fulton or Mr. Colbert in the College and Career Center next Thursday during lunch for more information. The Class of 2018 Career Fair and Senior Information Night will be held next Tuesday, March 6th. Meet with reps from over 20 different career paths at 315 and afterwards at 530, you can learn all about the special senior events in the auditorium. Families are encouraged to attend both events. The senior experience application deadline is tomorrow, March 2nd. Visit TC School Counseling on Canvas to find the application and all other information. See Mrs. Hahn in the College and Career Center if you have any questions or need to print your forms. There will be a free college prep workshop sponsored by the Hispanic Scholarship Fund this Saturday, March 3rd. College Camp is a free bilingual college preparation workshop held at George Washington University designed to help middle and high school students and their parents prepare, plan, and pay for college. Register at the link below. Calling all seniors. You will be registering to vote in your government class today and tomorrow. In order to register, you need to know your social security number. If you haven't done so already, go home and write down your social security number tonight. 
You must sign up for and attend your leadership interview if you have turned in your application for leadership. You will not be considered if you do not attend your interview. All interviews will be held in B112. Are you interested in taking a dual enrollment course next year? Ms. Kaufman will be in the College and Career Center during all lunches on March 7th. Come and get all your questions answered, like what's the difference between DE and AP? Do you need to take a placement test? When will these tests be offered? There is no need to sign up. Just get your lunch and come to the College and Career Center for all the answers. Keep It 360 presents Tank Takeover, an indoor pool party with food and fun. Plus, it's free. Tank Takeover is definitely the place to be tomorrow, March 2nd at Chinkapin from 6.30 to 9.30 p.m. The Latin Club Can Food Drive for the Capital Area Food Bank is ending tomorrow. It's your last chance to drop off your donations in the main office, trailer F904, or any academy office. The Mini Howard Yearbook Club will be having its next meeting today, March 1st, in room 213, from 310 to 415. The answer to yesterday's final, or yesterday's final Black History trivia question is Joshua Beckford. Congratulations to Jeffrey Carey Carey and Kayla McAlster, our first ninth grade winner from Mini Howard. They both were first to submit that, the correct answer. Come collect your sweet prize in room A227. And now for today in sports. That's it for today's show. Don't forget, our Women's History Month trivia question will be starting up next show, so you guys will have another chance to win prize and learn more about women's history. See you tomorrow, Titans. Peace.